Hi, I don't really know what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Uh, overall, it's going to be like a life update slash like girl talk type of thing. But uh, yeah. Oh, if you notice uh, my earbud throughout this video, it's because I'm listening to music. I have wanted to make videos just like talking videos like this for so long. But then every time that I go to record, I find it really difficult to actually record without or like talk freely without having some type of music or other sound playing in the background. So right now I'm listening to music as I film because it helps me to just talk. Um, especially talk within like one stream of thought rather than going like on 12 different tangents. Now I'm only gonna go on like five. So the first the first little thing that I wanted to talk about is something that I kind of just, just um, came to mind because I was talking to one of my friends who is leaving Korea and going back home and I feel like up until now I haven't been like super close with the people who have left um but within like this past I want to say year so like for my first year here I didn't really get to know very many people who were in my area um we're, we were a small community about like 12 or 14 of us so it wouldn't have been that difficult but distance wise even though we all lived within the same county it was like an hour bus ride away from the main part of the county to like the outskirts where like I was living and, uh, and a few others after that though uh you know people <laughs> left and the new people came in and I started to kind of get out of my shell a little bit more and then start meeting people and stuff like that and within last year and this year the people who have left have been the people who have actually stayed the longest while I have been here so I've been here for four years specifically well I've been here for four and a half years four of those years I was in a specific county and I want to say that last year the first person to go that I was like soup like I was actually really sad um left even though we still keep in contact which I'm so like wow this is amazing <laughs> um because like I was sad when people went before but they were only there for like a year or so so I didn't really get to know them to the extent of me being like oh yeah we're definitely gonna stay in contact and like actually think that that was a true statement so the person who left last year plus the people who are leaving this year plus one person who's actually still in the country that's great we're all in like a group chat so we still maintain in contact with each other which i find awesome and i hope continues um yeah my thought process when I was talking to one of these people who was leaving like a few seconds ago was that I I know that I actually really am going to miss them because I've been actively avoiding having like a last dinner um, or like last meal with them before they leave. So me and one of the people, we went on a trip together and I was like, wow, this is actually me, her and like some other people went on a trip together like a few weeks ago. And I was like, wow, this is actually the last time I'm going to see her. And that, I like immediately blocked it out of my mind. I was immediately like, no, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> because even though I don't like I'm not the type of person to necessarily see you every single day of the week or every weekend even um I might see you like twice a month maybe twice a year and I would and, but if you're leaving and I feel like I have actually grown somewhat of an attachment to you then when you leave I will actively try to talk to you less usually but this group chat has kind of prevented that from 
taking from going into effect quite as in quite a less severe way than it usually would um yeah and I feel like that but also the mixture of feelings of being like in a different country where having a community of people who understand what you're going through is so so key and I think I talked about this like last year in one of my videos to the baby English teachers to Korea was that like having a community of people especially people who live near you is so important because like even if you make friends with Korean people who have never been abroad or who have been abroad and are back in in Korea at the end of the day they are still Korean and like they might understand some of your struggles but they won't understand it to quite <laughs> as much of an extent as somebody who is actually in um a situation your like similar situation so when i say like people near you too is very important is if you're coming here to teach like a lot of the times you're going to be in like rural places and if you made friends with people during your orientation who are like from seoul who are going to be placed in seoul that's not going to help you <laughs> it's not going to help you at all Like, it might help in the sense that you can go to see them in Seoul, you can go traveling with them, meet up in, like, the middle and be like, oh, like, what's there to do in between where we live? Um, let's go here together, let's go there together. That's usually what having friends in our community outside of where you are stationed in Korea can do for you however if you are living in a countryside and your friend is living in Seoul when you talk about the struggles of like adjustment here you'll have two very different perspectives on this because of the types of people that you'll be working with the types of people that you'll be living near um in the types of students that you'll be teaching as well like if somebody's living in Seoul there's the chances are a good number of their students will know English to like a at least like elementary level of being able to have conversations like basic conversations with you but then if you are teaching in the countryside then the majority of your students aren't gonna know very much other than like hi hello how are you and like everyone jokes about it which is like funny and, and everything but then at the same time if like that's all you know then how am I supposed to teach you especially in a country where I have heard and have also been told that like other people have said this to other teachers where they're just like teach to the highest students and the others can fend for themselves like that's kind of the mentality that i have that i got sometimes and i i definitely was like i get why that exists i do i get why that exists fundamentally speaking with like how the school system is structured and everything i understand why someone would have that mentality i however don't and I ended up feeling really stressed out about like not being able to help my students to the best that I feel like I could have which is why I ended up quitting my job honestly teacher because I'm trying my best to like teach to the class as a whole but at this point I think most of them have given up um where whereas like someone from Seoul might be like yeah most of my students don't like English but they can like a majority of them can have like basic conversation and I'm, I'm just like because that's definitely I, I feel like I've I've talked to somebody where I was just like I feel like this is very very different 
Um, yeah, so like the people who I got really close to who were in that similar situation as me while I was teaching are now leaving the country. <laughs> and I'm like, oh wow, it's like, it feels like the end of an era in a sense, even though like I'm no longer teaching, I haven't been there in the area for like six months and I would say that I hung out with them like maybe once every two to three months like I wasn't the most active um, but that's just like me in general like my personality is that I will honestly be on my own for for two to three months and then I'm gonna be and then I'll be like oh I need to recharge my social battery let's package in a whole bunch of people into a weekend go somewhere have some fun and then like I won't see y'all for another three months <laughs> like that's just how I am um and I appreciate these people because they like I feel like they understood and they're they're very like kind about actually inviting me to things even though there was a possibility that I might say no but majority of the time I didn't there's something I wanted to say also that's like related but not um but there's also a lot of stuff happening back home where it's like people's lives are moving forward as they're supposed to i've completely under i like completely <laughs> i don't know the last time i went home which has been i think three years now um the last time i went home i gained more of an understanding of people's lives move on even though i'm not there which sounds very self-centered of a thought to have thought but it wasn't it was more of just a like because you're not there and you're not experiencing the things that these people who you once saw on a regular basis you're no longer seeing them you're no longer experiencing the same things as them you're no longer being caught up on the happenings quite as often as you once were therefore it's kind of natural to feel like oh nothing's going to change or nothing has changed because you haven't really been experiencing it or you haven't been in my case um talking to these people and like actively you know wanting updates on the going on of life for them so which like isn't because I don't like my, the, my people. I struggle with social things and it's just that's like a whole other topic for for another time. But in the same like kind of vein though, I was thinking like so many things are happening in in the Americas uh, <laughs> with people that I used to see on a regular and talk to on a regular and I'm just like wow this so much is happening and I'm sad because I definitely do want to go visit like okay so here's one thing where it's kind of a tangent but very much on topic I have been so there was when COVID first started that summer was when I was supposed to go home to see my family like when I first went on went home it was after a year and a half and I, I had decided then and there I'm gonna go every year and a half that way I'm not old there for winter I'm there for both winter and summer it de it just depends on like which rotation we're in right um so I specifically said this to people I was like yeah I think I'm next time I'm gonna come in the summer but not like next summer like a year and a half from now <laughs> um and then it's fun that people forgot I get it but there are certain people where I like actively was repeating this to and they still when covid was very very big and out there they were still like why aren't you coming home like i'm sorry like i get it i get that we have like different experiences of life but this is a fu this is a whole global perpendicular that's not even a word <laughs> that everyone is experiencing right now how are you being so like removed from the situation and in this moment going to ask me why am I not coming home what 
and also when people would ask me this I was like well honestly like having like working here even working in um in a public school you don't have the entirety of the vacation period to do whatever you want you have like 26 days that you have to split between winter and summer and i do actually have try to like have fun in the country on the one season that i'm not going to be going out of the country <laughs> so, <laughs> so i do use some of that but majority of it if i'm planning on going home then i'm going to use the majority of it then and so which means like with covid at its height me going and quarantining for two weeks and then coming back and quarantining for two weeks that would have used up actually more than what i even had for vacation time and people just like even though i would tell them this they just would be like so i don't get it why won't you just come as if like coming back to stay during a why can't I ever think of P words when it matters? A lot of people ask me why I wouldn't just come back home during its height, right? And I was like, you want me to go back to a place where I haven't had any real work experience during a time when people are actually getting laid off and have more, like arguably, like easily arguably more, more work experience than I do. Meanwhile, I could stay here and like have the job that I'm currently, that I've currently been like working at for the past few years. Which one of those makes more sense to you? You know? And that annoyed me because it just lacked common sense and like basic thinking skills but also it annoyed me because there is this this very rampant um thought process with people who are in the country that you once came from or like were born and raised in where you should go to them you should go back to them specifically um if you are living and working outside of the country and you want to see them or they want to see you you need to come to them rather than they go to you and that for me especially within like my family specifically is like a thing that's very very annoying because I get it there's some of you that just don't have the means to come all the way over here but also why do you assume that I have the means to go to you every six months <laughs> like that's just like whoosh, for me um and there's also this like if I'm actively telling you hey I can't do this why do you keep pushing why don't you try to like meet me in the middle and maybe I go there once a year and you come here once a year? Like if you're really trying to do that and push to see me so often. Um, yeah. And I feel like my mom's going to watch this video and think I'm talking about her and I'm not actually talking about my mother. I feel like my mom, <clears throat> I don't think she could handle like a huge, like a like 24 hour flight if it was a non-stop flight i don't i also don't think she could handle stopping in between um both her personality and her like health i just don't think she'd be good in that situation so i get it she's one of those people that i understand <laughs> saying this and like wanting to see me and stuff she's also one of the people that i'm like i should probably call and text her and message her and like talk to her more um so i get why she wants to see me and that kind of thing but there's a lot of people where i'm like we didn't we barely talked while i was in the country why do you suddenly want to be like hey you should come to blah, blah 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 and then things started happening you know stuff happened and i would have really wanted to go home but it just wasn't possible um last year 
and I feel like I was secretly being judged but even now like I didn't reach out because of the way that I am with dealing with big life events um even though I actively even though I know this about myself I act and did actively try to communicate and was and like constantly told myself hey I should get in contact with this person and this person there was also the other part of me that was like why don't these people get in contact with me which I've which is why that list quickly shortened to like two people um and given that my mom watches my videos frequently um I, I feel like if I'm ever thinking about something I don't know when people call me like when my sister or my mom calls me I will completely forget what I thought I wanted to tell them but also just in general I don't talk about things like this with people because I feel like I'm gonna end up in a conversation where it's going to be a back and forth thing where I actually just need to talk and like to be heard until like the very end where my thoughts are like completely said and done um so this form of of communication might be a little bit better for our relationship who knows uh, and for those of you who are totally strangers to me, um, thanks for thanks for watching this, I guess. And um, if you have anything to say, you have any advice you want to give, or maybe you just want to talk the way that I did, message in the comments, hit me up on Instagram. Depending on how you approach that um, Instagram DM, I might respond. Because let's be honest, if you are creepy about the way that you come to me, probably not going to respond to you. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm, I'm hoping there will be another one. <laughs> so, see you guys.